What is up guys and welcome back to Everything Trains 13. If you are new, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell. Help us reach 50 subscribers. Um, thank you guys for all the support. If you are subscribed, thank you. But um, without further ado, let's uh, dive right in. MSRP on this model is $34.98 and I got this for $27.99. So you can find deals out there, brick and mortar hobby shops. But the car that we are looking at today is the Chesapeake in Ohio. 65 foot mill gondola, 65 foot mill gondola, and this is by Ather Ready to Roll. So, it may not be the most relevant scheme, but it's not the most relevant car because it's pretty old, maybe like late 70s, early 80s is when it, they stopped producing these. So, yeah, but without further ado, let's dive right in. Like I said, the MSRP is 3498 and you can find deals out there. Um, really standard Atherin ready to roll packaging. Put this over here to the side. And also, if you guys want to look at the back, here's the back. Pause that highest definition 4K. Here is the parts list and and uh, explore parts diagram. 65 foot mode gondola. And the warranty, I'm just going to go over this really quickly. And the Ather News, sign up for Ather News. And here's the lovely car, standard blister packaging. Lift off the soft plastic and lift out the car. Inside, Inside you have little inserts to protect the actual um, gondola itself and since this is a no gondola the sides do come down on both sides so uh, yeah if you don't want them to come down you might have to um, glue them down but as you can see mine don't really want to stay up Oh yeah. I think it's, that's just, just because mine is loose, but we'll be careful with that. Wow, okay. I just don't want I I wanted to stop falling, but here's the car. And we will get down to track level as they might say. So details on this. You have the brake wheel and uh, brake chain. You have separately applied steps. The you have the sides of it which do come down. You got Atherin couplers, which I think these are the McHenry couplers. Some more separately applied grabs. You have the car um, scheme and number. Zooming in here. You got CNO on the side, right here, CNO. Car number, which is 32487. Capacity, load weight, load limit. And then the stripey on the side. Some more car information. And then the CNO logo. On this side is the side that keeps falling because it's loose. I don't know how to fix that. Maybe it's just my car. I don't know if it's all of everybody else's. But I think how I can fix that is just by getting a load or keeping that insert in there probably would be my best bet. I don't know. I will leave it in there just so we can get on with the video. Alright, so same thing as the other side, just no brake wheel. And again with the McHenry couplers. Yeah, metal wheels on the underbody. And Wow, wow. Look at that. And some underbody detail like brake piping. Not very much. I'm kind of surprised that there wasn't this much because it's it is half and ready to roll. So I mean, I guess that's really it for the detail. Not very much detail on the car. You do have some rivet detail in there. If you guys can see that. So yeah. Mm 
I myself don't know where to get loads for this. I really don't know how to keep it up. There we go. Alright. Sorry you guys were out of frame. So I'm going to do a roll test and then we will do a couple of height gauge. So metal wheels. So we'll see how well this rolls. And then we'll going down, light push. Alright, so pretty good on light pushes. You can see it's wanting to roll away on me. And now we will do the coupler height. Alright. So coming down here. Looks to be low. And you guys are blurry. So yeah, it looks to be really low. Wow, that's that is actually really low though. Okay. This side I guess it's a little bit better. I don't know if maybe tightening the screws for the couplers might work. Because they are a little loose. But um, I don't know. That was coupler height. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I guess maybe this wasn't the best video I've done. I, I really didn't do much research on this car and didn't really pay attention. This was the first time I opened this, as most of the cars that I get. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video, if you did, comment down below that you did, and I will follow, follow or like your comment, and I might be subscribing to some of you guys, but oh yeah. So with that being said, make sure you guys are subscribed, check out my last review, um, check out my last two reviews actually, which were... Uh, this guy and uh, this guy so uh, check those out but like I said if you guys are new subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video peace